Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Sean and this is Niyanki Auto Systems. This right here is the Petty Chevy. This is one of my two Legends race cars that I am making road legal. Now with the Petty Chevy, I've always tried to add a little bit of flair of my own taste to the car. And there's some components of the car that I find a little boring, such as this shift knob. Just a circular shift knob that goes onto the shift rod. It's a little boring, so we're gonna throw that in the trash. Instead, we're gonna take this hammer we're going to make our own lengthened shift knob. Stay tuned to see how it turns out. So every once in a while I take some time to wander around the farm, look for things that I can use to add to the Petty Chevy. Kind of been building this in like a hot rod style. If I can find something that I like and I want to incorporate it into the car, I try my best. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I was walking around the farm looking for some components to use. Specifically I was trying to find a fuel hose or a fuel filler or maybe a seat. Found a seat. But in my diving through some of the buildings and some of the areas, I did happen upon this wooden mallet. Now, the wooden mallet, obviously, to everyone else, it's just a hammer. But it did have this really cool turned edge down at the bottom. Now, I've already gone ahead and cut the wooden mallet off so I can access the amount of lengthened handle that I want to use. Now it's really cool because it does have a wood turn on the inside inlay here of the handle and it does have some characteristics from age that I'd like to preserve and I think would fit the build very well. I've also already tapped a 3 8 by 16 hole in the center of the handle. Now it is a little off center but that's actually okay because what that does is it actually angles the shift lever a little bit towards me so it's easier to grab. That was the one thing that I found when I was driving the Petty Chevy the couple times that I have that it was a little hard to find the shifter every once in a while and I wanted to make sure that I could properly engage that and get a really good feel out of it and so far I think this lengthened shift handle is going to be the solution. Another thing that I'm going to do with this uh, shift handle is I'm actually working on right now whittling the initials of my business, New Yankee Auto Systems, into the handle and I have found some old wood finish that has also been on the farm. I don't know what it even looks like but I'm gonna use it. You know why? Because it's hot rod, you have it, you use it, and you make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue whittling my logo into this and we're gonna see how it turns out.
dry on the shift handle I'm going to keep on trudging along because I've had some more ideas and keeping with the hot rod theme I've got a shift boot off an old shifter and something honestly it looks like some kind of air filter cover off a tractor or a mower uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these two holes so I have enough length try and put the shift boot underneath see what it looks like probably not like it Maybe do something else. We'll see. Let's give it a shot. After I cut out the metal that was necessary to make the space that I needed on this, what I'm going to call a shift gator cover, uh, I was just trying to form it back down flat so that I could file it and make sure that I had the shape that ultimately I wanted and the space that I needed. I 
I found these little adhesive backed magnetic buttons and I was going to try and use those to hold the front of the shift gator cover down. For the back mounting hole where I was going to utilize the mounting strap, I figured it would be a good idea to use a riv nut in that hole that was already drilled. I prefer to use riv nuts where I can. I think it just makes the installation look a lot cleaner. And since there was already a hole there, I figured, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and throw a riv nut in there, see how it looks. the step to drill bit to get the hole wide enough for the rib knot because too many times I thought I had the right size drill bit and over drilled the hole for the rib knot and had to step up another size. So I just kept drilling until I had the right size and the rib knot fit snugly.
All right, so, so far I've been able to get what I guess you would call the gator cover for the shifter installed. I still have a little bit to figure out with that. I don't think those little magnet buttons I was trying to use are gonna work. I might just have to drill another hole as much as I don't really want to. I was able to reuse one hole, so that's good, but I'm gonna have a ponder on that. And what I'm gonna be working on in the meantime is figuring that out while the shift handle dries in the sun. All right, so what I ended up doing was I took two pieces of electrical wire, I crimped them to an eyelet, and then I put a bolt through that, a little gold bolt, looks nice. Riveted the other ends of the wire to the gator, put the shift boot cover on, and then secured everything into place. I'm not sure if I'm happy with it yet, but it at least does have a little bit of that hot rod feel to it. I could have done just another tab on the other end, but I kind of felt that would have looked ugly. Didn't want to do that. So... Now that we have the gator on, it's time to put the shift handle on now that it's baked in the sun for a little bit and see how that looks. And there it is. With all things considered, I don't think that that handle turned out too bad considering it started life out as a handle of a wooden mallet. So there's a lot that I think I can fix with that in the future. I don't think I'm quite done with the shift handle. Uh, I might give it another coat of stain. I might paint it. I might do something else with it. But for now, for an afternoon's project, it's still pretty good. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel New Yankee Auto Systems and remember to follow us on all of our socials, Facebook and TikTok. But for now, I'll see you on the next one.